Now I'm going to show the same proof using good notes. I tried four times already recording it in real time. So um, I gave up. What I did is I wrote the entire proof, then I erased it backwards using here this uh, the rubber tool. And now I'm going to undo this erasing. So I'm, it's kind of cheating. Uh, so again, we have a family of linearly independent vectors. We want to show that a subfamily has to be linearly independent. I'm making this subfamily uh, here with a size three, but of course it doesn't matter. So again, we're going to show this by a direct method, which means we're just going to check the definition of being linearly independent. So how does it go? We first we start by supposing that there is some linear combination of this uh, these three vectors that gives the zero vector. So the, there's a linear combination, and here we say for some numbers, alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3. Some here is a logical quantifier. It just says there exists alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, like this. And then we are going to uh, say something about these alpha 2, alpha 2, alpha 3. We're going to show that they are zero. Yeah. So then what we do now, well, we let's use what is our assumption? Our assumption is that the family of k vectors was linearly independent. So by taking, we'll take what? The remaining coefficients, alpha 4, alpha 5, pa, 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 up to alpha k, we're going to take them to be all equal 0. And by taking them equal to 0, what do we have? We have, well, that, that is complete linear combination, which has a three, two parts. The first part is this linear combination here, which already know will equal to 0, and the second part which equals zero because all these numbers are zero. So this linear combination will be zero. And then we write now, so that's when the argument is about to come now. We know that this entire family of k vectors was linearly independent, and what we have here is a, a linear combination of them giving the vector zero. So by definition of linear being linearly independent, we must have all these coefficients to being zero. And Hence, in particular, the first three must also be zero. But that's exactly what we're trying to prove. So this completes the proof. We can little square.